Good morning. This particular video is to give you the series of steps that you are going to need to take care of what is typically called a signature assignment or a common assignment. This particular assignment for this class is divided into four specific sections. You will find that all of the materials you require related to the assignment are enclosed in a folder slash link that is on the home page toward the bottom that will probably say signature assignment. The other information related to the assignment include due dates which should be specified in the course outline and if there are other concerns that you have about the assignment you should feel free to text or to call the numbers provided also on the course outline. So to begin let's take a look at the first part of the assignment. The assignment uh, includes a case study, a fictitious case study, case study, of course, based on Tony Soprano, the one you think about specifically related to HBO. There is a detailed description of the presenting concerns he provides as he speaks with an individual related to some challenges he's been facing of late. You are to select, based on the information provided in the case study, a specific diagnosis for the first section of the assignment. You have available for you to use the diagnosis of major depressive disorder recurrent with psychotic features. You can also use bipolar 1 disorder, antisocial personality disorder, as well as erectile dysfunction or some combination of all of those if you feel those diagnoses are necessary. You are to select one of the diagnoses that is provided and you are also to provide an explanation as to why you chose that particular diagnosis. Simply telling me on the answer sheet that the other diagnoses don't apply does not get you the correct amount of points. We'll just be clear on that. Now let me explain to you a handful of pieces of information related to those diagnoses. For example, Major depressive disorder is a particular disorder that must last a period of at least two weeks to begin. Another aspect of depressive disorder is that it will usually contain symptoms of what we might call blahness, uh, a blue mood, um, the inability or the lack of desire to get out of bed and to function in a normal capacity. Uh, other concerns you might find related to a disruptive, I'm sorry, to a depressive disorder would include potential tearfulness. In significant cases, there is potential for the person to want to do self-harm. Um, all of those types of symptoms are also listed in the middle of the case study or information related to the diagnoses are also considered there in the case study. If you want to use bipolar 1 disorder, that is a disorder that is characterized by the presentation of at least one manic episode. That manic episode can be in the past or can be currently ongoing. Another aspect related to that disorder is that it must, the manic phase of the episode must last at least five to seven days or more. There is another diagnosis that's available called bipolar 2 disorder that's not available on your answer sheet, but that is based on a different time frame. It must last four days or less, whereas again, bipolar 1 disorder must last at least five days, seven days, or more over a period of time. Some of those symptoms include not only erratic behavior, but the need for adrenaline rush, if you want to use that type of language, um, elevated mood. Some individuals shop excessively. Some individuals may find themselves more interested in sexual activity than normal, even to the point of being dangerous in their behavior. Symptoms like that are also noted as a part of your case study. Antisocial personality disorder is a disorder that is characterized by not only antisocial behavior, but has an age qualification on it. You cannot diagnose antisocial personality disorder in individuals less than age 18. This case, this particular disorder does not apply, if truth be told. 
simply because Mr. Soprano was older than age 18, and while there are concerns about some of his behavior being antisocial, trust me when I tell you this, there are aspects of the, of the case study that indicate that the diagnosis most likely is not antisocial personality disorder. Again, those symptoms are noted toward, as information available in your case study. Erectile dysfunction is exactly what you think it is. It's the inability to perform sexual activity in a satisfactory fashion. One of the challenges related to that is that it's going to be specific as well as very particular to the individual. What one person may consider a dysfunction, another male may not consider dysfunction. It just may be part of their normal sexual activity. In this particular case, Mr. Soprano has made reference, if I remember correctly, to certain types of sexual dysfunction, but do they include the inability to perform? That information is also contained in the case study. Read that case study carefully. All of the information you require to make the correct diagnosis is contained in the study. Now, there are a couple of other pieces of information that could be critical in helping you decide the specific diagnosis that's necessary. Again, pay attention to the time frame that's required. Be sure and look at each of the symptoms carefully. They must be inclusive. There are some diagnoses, and in this case, it also proves correct, that some of the diagnoses could overlap with some of the symptoms. Again, the information is clear enough in the case study to warrant your ability to select correctly. Again, be sure about the time frames involved, the specifics of the symptoms that are noted. If you have any question or concern as it relates to the first part of this exercise, be sure and let me know. I'm not hard to find. Uh, the next video will include information on what could be some of the most appropriate types of interventions that a therapist or a psychologist might want to use in this particular case, but we'll get to that in just a moment.